YouTube Niner Empire, what is going down? Welcome back to another video. So um, I read a report today, I was reading an article today that mentioned that the 49ers fans are once again expected to travel well um, to Minnesota for Monday Night Football versus the Minnesota Vikings. And I'll be the first one to say, going to that Cleveland game last weekend really made me realize how well 49ers fans do travel. Um, I was sitting alongside of a couple 49ers fans that flew in all the way from Canada. Um, obviously, it was a shorter trip for me. With me living in Indiana, it's not as far to Cleveland. I mean, it's still about a four and a half, five hour drive. Um, but talking with a lot of 49ers fans at last week's Cleveland Browns versus the Niners game, it makes you, it's, it's pretty eye opening seeing how well 49ers fans uh, really do travel. Um, it's no surprise that they're they're expected to pack the house um, for Minnesota on Monday night. But yeah, I mean, it's one of them things where it's a bunch of fans who love their team. The 49ers arguably have one of the greatest and most faithful franchise or fan bases in all of football. Um, I, I mean, you, you look at Levi Stadium South in Los Angeles, the way we travel when we play the Los Angeles Rams is absurd. Every time we play in SoFi, it is a home game for the 49ers. Um, but yeah, I mean, like I said, it, it's no surprise that 49ers fans are expected to pack the house. We have the best fan base in the NFL, and it's not even close. Um, there are a lot of loyal fan bases out there, including the Cleveland Browns. But when it comes to traveling and, and, and 49ers fans being there at no matter what city, no matter what stadium, no matter who they're playing, um, for them, for the 49ers fans to show out year in and year out, I think that just kind of proves the case even more that the 49ers have some loyal fans and, and fans willing to travel and see the team. Um, I know as far as me, I, I plan to go out to San Francisco it, either for a playoff game this year or a game next year. Um, I mean, I'm only 21 years old. Money doesn't grow on trees when it comes to me. Um, I would like to go to another home game this this season. I know my whole plan was going to the Cleveland game. It was, of course, it, it's, it's super close to Indiana in terms of the drive and whatnot. It's not a bad drive whatsoever, but my whole plan and my whole thought process behind it was Initially, when I was looking at games this year to go to, Cleveland was always on the radar. Um, but I, I, I wanted to make it a case this year for me to go to a home game um, in San Francisco. I still have yet to be out to San Francisco. I've never even been to California. Um, a lot of you guys probably watching this video are like, why the hell are you a 49ers fan then? That's all because of Patrick Willis. He was my favorite player growing up as a kid ever since I could understand football. Um, 2008 was when I really started to become a 49ers fan and then you know obviously it's 2023 now and we are still a part of the 49er faithful um, but yeah my whole plan was this year is to go to a, a, a home game in San Francisco the only issue was is it, it was one of them things where it wasn't really in the budget, and I knew if I was if I could go to the Cle or if I could go to Cleveland and watch them take on the Cleveland Browns there, it would be a little better in terms of money and, and things of that nature. But I I really do plan on going out to a game. Hopefully this year. Hopefully a playoff game in San Francisco. Um, hopefully that's the next stop. But I've already made it a guarantee to myself: the next 49ers game I do go to, it's it's going to be in San Francisco. I've been to three 49ers games in my entire life. Both of them have been in Indianapolis when they played the Indianapolis Colts. And then obviously going to Cleveland last weekend. Um, but just being there, watching the team live, there's nothing like it. Especially this team this year. Anybody watching this video that's a 49ers fan that hasn't went and seen this team play this year, you have to go see the team play. Um, the team's loaded on all, all cylinders. Yeah, the 49ers didn't play the best last week. But that doesn't take away from the fact that it's still surreal to see players like Fred Warner, Nick Bosa, George Kittle, Christian McCaffrey, uh, Debo Samuel, Brandon Ayuk, Hufanga, Dre Greenlaw. I, I wasn't able to see Greenlaw last weekend, obviously, because he was hurt. But there's there is so many 
so many superstars on this team. And if you guys have not went to a game yet, you have to go. But yeah, I just thought I'd make a quick little video. Um, like I said, the 49ers fans are expected to travel well once again for this Minnesota game. It's no surprise. Like I said, we're the best fran fan base in the entire NFL. Nobody comes close. Um, and yeah, so expect to see a sea of red in Minnesota for Monday Night Football. Um, be on the lookout for my preview video coming soon. Um, going over the game Monday night. So stay tuned for that. That'll be coming out probably within the next couple days. Um, but other than that, go Niners as always, and I'll see you guys in the next one.